adults were bored out of our mind. <laughs> and the two others thought it was genius. That's, yeah, that's what I hear. Yeah. yeah that's, there's that's, really no middle ground with Dune right now. It's like either you were bored, you don't... Now, there's no denying. It's gonna get nominations for technical. Yeah, of course. Cinematography, yeah. Uh, visual effects, probably score. Hans Zimmer and Pedro, my buddy, is involved with that. Uh, but... Vote for Pedro. It, he may get a directing nod. I, I, I wouldn't be voting. I mean, it's tough with that stuff. What do you think of Dune? I bored me spitless. I haven't seen it yet, so yeah. I don't have an So I know many but of you... I bet he's wrong. Many of you loved it. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions of Corbin. I'm Rick. Do you believe in haunted houses? I do. You know, like yeah. ghosts and stuff? Well, yeah. I, I have a very... Or is it demons and, and angels that, that you think it is? Well, I think it's a... I think it's several things. I, One, I, I know you believe in, obviously. I, yeah, obviously, obviously, I do believe in the activity of inner of, of the demonic and the angelic. Yeah. I also believe in activities that are happening here that are both extraterrestrial and interdimensional. So, but, but what about ghosts? Well, go like ooh, ghost. Yeah. Uh, I. It depends on what you mean by a ghost. Like, if you believe it's the spirit of a deceased person. I'm no, okay. uh, but I, I do believe that I, any one of the things I just mentioned, the demonic, the angelic, the interdimensional, or the extraterrestrial, uh -huh. can have manifestations that we consider to be ghosts. You ever gone to haunted places? Yes. Nice. I would love to like spend the night in a place that they say is haunted. Well, this is the top 10 most haunted places in India, so that'll be fun. One of them is going to be the place we saw in uh, um, Jack 4. Oh, maybe. I bet you. Here we go. And probably the place where the, the Padmabhat oh, yeah. has a rich right? culture and history. And as much as there are many places to see and visit, there are also some mm. places that you have been warned to steer clear of. Yeah! Spooky surprises await you. Hey guys, my name is Leroy Kenton. Oh yeah, Thanks I remember. coming back to like him. I haven't reacted in a long time. Facts. Yeah. And here are 10 of the most haunted places in India. So get ready for this one. At number 10 brings us the Vrindavan Society. This building was constructed in the 1980s cool and was open for residency years later. As the story goes, a man once resided in the building and he took his own life and since then, his spirit haunts the entire building. Oh. The ghost is blamed for slapping the building guard at <laughs> night. Yeah. And some of the residents have also claimed to have felt the presence of the ghost in their apartment. Charlie Water Fort comes at number nine. This fort Ooh, is cool. a popular historical place in India, and it said that a young prince's uncle sent assassins to him in the middle of the night, but before his life was taken, he ran to his uncle's room and shouted, Uncle, save me. On the night of every full moon, people hear a voice saying, Uncle, save me, coming from the fort. Ooh. We go to Kuldara at number eight. Kuldara is a large village that has been completely deserted. Structurally, I just want to go to all these I know. village. One legend about why this place came to be like this involves a love story of a tax collection minister who really liked a girl in the village. He threatened to increase tax rates until the young girl accepted his offer to be with him. The villagers ended up cursing him and he ran away with the girl in shame. Whoa. And many believe that the village is haunted by wandering spirits because of that Street. curse. Agra Sinki Bali comes next. This monument was constructed in the 14th century to be a water reservoir with steps that went down into the water. Now, apparently, as you move deeper and deeper into the well, where we the only sound that you hear is your own footsteps and other creepy definitely been noises. Definitely looks like it. One time, yeah. the well was filled with black where PK water, sat. and a high number of suicides started to happen. Even the design of this also looks just straight up creepy. No, we it's cool. Sanjay Van Forest at number six. Sandy I love Van all of these forest, places. Located in the Kutab Institution is as scary as forests can get. Many people have reported seeing a lady in white in this forest or also sitting by the road near to the forest. Ask 
asking people for a ride. And also, she's been reported to just completely disappear when people offer to give her a ride. There's been also oh, cases that's where people like. have seen very street like a very haunted mansion. Yeah. Get the hitchhikers on the thing with you. With glowing eyes. Halfway in at number five, we have the Golconda Fort. Now, this used to be oh, a monument cool place. that served as the center for diamond trade. Many have reported seeing shadows in the this fort. Jaipur? And it also is believed that the ghosts of a famous courtroom dancer haunts this fort. You can hear howling noises as well as pictures on the wall are turned upside wow. down without it's even just being pretty. touched. The site is also used as a movie set. Moving over to Dumas Beach. So according to popular legends, it's believed that the winds that blow on this beach, they actually carry the whispers that attract people to its waters, leading them on a journey that they can never return from. Now, there have been several cases of missing people, and it's believed that the beach was a burial a site for idea. Hindus, and it's a, a place where beach? tortured souls just continue to gather. Tunnel 33 Shimla is at number three. This is a haunted railway track that travels under a mountain. The railway was supposed to be completed by a British engineer named Captain Barogue, and he was reportedly fired from the job because he couldn't complete it properly, and this had him fall into depression, and he ended up taking his own life inside of the tunnel, and it's believed that his spirit haunts the tunnel to this day. The tunnel is also called the Barog Tunnel after him. Let's turn into the Kapali Cemetery at number two. This cemetery is also known as St. John's Cemetery, and there have been reports of sightings of people seeing ghostly figures in the cemetery at night. Others have reported seeing an old man walking around in the cemetery in the dark. And you don't even have to be inside of the cemetery to get creeped out because some people have even reported just being around the cemetery they feel eerie chills and just weirded out and completely disturbed. Now the number one creepiest place is the Bangra Fort. So believed to be the most haunted place in India, the construction of this fort goes all the way back to the 17th century. And as the legends go, the city was cursed by a holy man who actually threatened that if the construction of this new site cast any type of shadow over his home, he would destroy the entire town. So that I say that to all my neighbors. Place <laughs> actually did cast a shadow over his home, and it was said that he performed a curse on the entire village. Many people believe that he was buried in this fort and that his ghost continues to haunt the site up until this day. So I hope you guys weren't too creeped out. Those were 10 of the most haunted places in India. All As 10 of those should be turned into films. In the comments section. Yeah, um, I, I have a feeling one of those was the inspiration for Street. Street. Um, I'm such a skeptic. Like, <laughs> I don't, like, I, if anybody says anything plays is haunted, I'm like, yeah, okay, sure. Well, right. Whatever. <laughs> I, I've, I just I, don't believe it. I had some friends who... I was hip to the first part of this. This was a long time ago. My friends uh, wanted to... Yeah, you could tell because you just said, I was hip to. Yeah, I was hip... <laughs> uh, I, I, I wanted to go... They wanted to go into the like this, the a cemetery at like midnight and just sit and wait. Mm. That didn't bother me because at one point in my life I wanted to be a trans medium. So I was yeah. ready to sit in chairs and let whatever happen. So, but they wanted to do it on acid. I was like, nah, no. Because, <laughs> you would have definitely saw something. Yeah, we would have definitely seen something. And then you can't say it really happened. Because was it, it was, people from Bollywood? Yeah. No, it was, Is that where you it get was, the drugs from? That's where I get the drugs okay, from. Cool, and that's cool. why I like the boots. Sure. Yeah, because cool. at the bottom of the boots, there's, there's LSD. Yeah. You gotta love it. Yep. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, so have you ever encountered anything that is that is in it unexplainable and potentially paranormal? No. Nothing? No. Okay. Nothing can't be explained. Okay. <laughs> There's, like, at all. Uh, I've been Even on, things that would be oddly coincidental. Like, have you never had... Here's something I've had happen to me I will, multiple times. I will always fall on the aspect, on the way of, okay. there's obviously an explanation. Have you ever encountered something in real life and stopped in the middle of it, and this is not deja vu, it feels like deja vu, but you're in it and you realize I dreamt this. And you can pinpoint when you dreamt it. I don't remember my dreams. So oh, usually, you don't remember yeah, your dreams. No. Okay. You, yeah. I mean, it's very rare. Do you rare. dream a lot? I don't know. Okay. Because you don't remember that. I fall asleep and I'm pretty sure it's just black. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, I, I... I mean, I know people say you dream even if you don't remember them. True. But, but like, I know, like, mm -hmm. Dan, he... Can tell you maybe four dreams in his whole life. He does not remember no, his remember dreams. Whereas if Ashley says the words, so I had this dream last night, make some coffee, 
Yeah, it's like a 30-minute story. Sit, you're going to have a 30-minute story. <laughs> My wife's the same way. Yeah. And, and Drani and I are dreamers. We, yeah. we dream every night. I say I'm a dreamer. But I'm not. I'm not the only one. Oh, there's more to that. Yeah. <laughs> you may say I'm a dreamer, <laughs> but, but I'm not. not the only one. I'm not. Oh, well, whatever. Anyways, that was great. Uh, let us know if you've ever been to these places, if there's other videos of like haunted yes, places. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, because I do it, because I've been on like ghost tours, like in Charleston. Yeah. They have great ghost tours, because there's a lot of history and a lot yes. of stuff like that. I think they're fun, but I just don't believe in any of them. Yeah. Uh, so let us know what other videos and other stuff we can react to down below. Just...